How's it going, everyone? Tony here at FX Street. Today, I'm going to be going over Bitcoin against the US dollar. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys know, check us out on YouTube at FXS Street. Give us a like and subscribe. Uh, we are at, this is my page, but hold on. FXS Crypto is the home base. Shouts to the team. And everyone who keeps this engine running smooth. And I'm personally at TM Charts 100. Um, I post trade setups, on chain analysis, things like that. Um, yeah, just for historical purposes. And thank you for those of you who have joined. Okay, uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, guys. Um, I mean, if you guys are reading the articles, you know, it's a lot of a lot of noise in the market with the fed hike and all this stuff um personally i think this is bullish you know that's a very scary looking candle traders are looking at but um i think this is a bullish environment okay and even that look at all that bearish volume it doesn't look good it doesn't look good, but you can see volume coming in and then another rise. It's it's happened before, so relatively, it's not that bad. Okay, so that's the first thing I'll say. I mean, these guys got faked out supremely here as well as here in the, in the grand scheme of things. So it really depends on where you are. Um, if you're swinging as a trader, as a day trader or hourly trader, depends on where you are. Um, I think cryptos going into November and December will be bullish. Statistically, they always are. Now, what we're dealing with on a bigger picture might be a triangle. Okay, well, we might have a flat. Um, so, yeah, this triangle situation is still, is still valid. Or it might be a flat and it could get as high as 25 and possibly even 30K. But taking it one step at a time, what I like about Bitcoin right now is the fact that it's consolidating above the previous range. And this is a very significant range. What's this triangle here? Okay, you have your triangle apex. It's hovering directly above it. I like that. Um, I like that it's not closing inside of the previous range or even anywhere down here. Now, if you go to FX Street, uh, let's just, just go over there real quick. Um, recently posted an article about Bitcoin. Handsome fellow over here. This handsome fellow, he posted an article. Um, On-chain metrics show bears are already underwater and may still need to capitulate. So if you take a look at this article, um, you know, I, I think the long versus short ratio is a good tool to use sometimes. Um, so, yeah, on October 24th, Bitcoin traded between 19,600 and 19,157. And October 31st, they tra Bitcoin traded at 20,845 uh, 20, and 20,237. And what happened was, if you take a look at the chart, uh, yeah, they went short on both of these days. Okay, so now let's take a look at those numbers. It's here, guys. I already did it for you. So you've got, you've got bulls. You've got bears trapped here. Go read the article, then you can go reference it. But yeah, that's what we're doing here. We, we guys are giving you the work here. They're trapped here. They went short here. And look, they've gotten blown past. So as you can see, the price is not giving them a chance to even break even. Some of the earlier bears and some of the later bears, they're already wiped. All right. So now they're going to be forced to have to cover and to have to you know, redeem some of those, these losses. So they're going to have to join this trend. So yeah, 20, it's here, 19,000. And then there's another one. Where is it? Uh, 20,845, 20,237. This is how you use these things, apparently. I don't know. I've never been trained on it, but this is how I see the market based on this stuff. So... Yeah, so you've got some um, 20,845. So you got some guys that are here, okay? So you got some guys that are in this range here, and they're currently in profit, all right? So they're they're in profit, um, but I don't see them 
I don't see a reason why these Bears need to get relieved of their position. I think that they're in trouble, so I think we're going to get some more range here. We might tag 20,000 evenly and then rally. Okay, my next target is 20,000, 20, 20, 1,500. The next target is here. Next target is yeah, 20,500. This congestion zone is obvious target. And then after that, I'm going for 23,400 in this area somewhere up here. It's going to get into this congestion zone. So that's how I see the market playing. This is, um, I'm noticing just with, uh, you know, with the stats, keeping a log of things, uh, 10 days is usually where I'm starting to see, um, I'm starting to see, you know, my stuff, my stuff pan out. So you try to catch a knife and you, uh, you, you got to wait 10 days, you know, 10 days. Um, it's usually between 10 and 20 days is where I'm seeing most of my stuff is working. Um, so, yeah, you know, th that's just stuff to keep in mind. This is a swing trade. <clears throat> Don't need to do that right now. This is a swing trade. So just keep that in mind. This looks very strong here, this bullish move. Hasn't breached through the strongest candle. It just looks bullish in my opinion. So I think we're going higher. Tag of 20,000 might be a good little add to your position move. And yeah, crypto season for the fall. This is your updated video on Bitcoin. Make sure you guys know. Check us out on YouTube at FX Street. Twitter is FX Crypto, FXS Crypto. I'm personally at TM Charge 100 for historical purposes. Thank you for those who have joined. I'll see you guys on the next one.